Now we consider a rectangular wave. This is actually a rectangular waveform. Okay, rectangular wave. So um, it is basically the same thing as the ones we've done in the previous case. You see the same thing. So we are given this and we are asked to find frequency, average uh, value over half a cycle, the root mean square value, form factor, and the peak factor, and all the rest. So already we know that frequency, frequency f is simply one all over period. And the period here, the maximum period here is 10 and it is measured in milliseconds. So that is simply 1 all over 10. Milliseconds is by 10 to the power of minus 3. And this actually gave us 100 hertz, right? Yes, we had this to be 100 hertz. Now, to find the average value, let's use the second approach simply to use the mid ordinates. Average value. The average value is simply equal to the sum of the mid ordinates v1 plus v2 plus v3 plus v4 all over number of cycles, which is which in this case is 4. So it has already been broken down. The number of cycles here is 4, 50, 100, 150, and 200, which is simply 1, 2, 3, 4. Number of cycles is 4. So let's find the mid ordinates now distance between each middle point of the given um, voltages middle of 50 is what 25 so it means v1 is equal to 25 middle of 100 is what 50 so move from here remember middle of 50 is 25 so you move from 25 down to 50 that gives us what so which means v2 is simply 75 so remember from the middle of 100 from here to here, we still have 50 left. Middle of 150 gives us what? 75, right? So move from 50 to connect to um, from 50 to connect to 75. That becomes 50 plus 75. So V3 is simply 125. Finally, middle of one uh, of 200 is what? 100. So move from 75 to connect to 100. That gives us 175. So V4 is simply 175. You have this. So therefore, the average value is simply sum of those mid-ordinate voltages. V1 is 25 plus V2 is 75, right? Plus V3, 125 plus uh, 175, V4, all over 4. Average value is now equal to, please give me this sum on top. 400 so you have 400 all over 4 which equals 100 volts so the average value is simply 100 volts next is to find the root mean square value rms value is simply equal to the square root of the sum of the squares of the mid ordinate values v1 squared plus v2 squared plus v3 squared plus v4 squared all over number of cycles which is 4 so this is equal to the square root of v1 give us 25 25 squared plus v2 give us 75 75 squared plus V3 gave us 125. 125 squared plus V4 gave us 175. 175 all squared divided by 4. So RMX is equal to the square root of give me 25 squared 625 plus give me 75 squared 5625 give me 125 squared 16625 15625 plus give me 175 squared 3625 all over 
four. Please add them for me. Six. Five to five hundred divided by four. Please, five to five hundred divided by four. Our OMS is simply the square root of one one four point six. Please give me this divided by the thirteen one two five, and that's equal to square root of thirteen one two five one one four point two six volts. That gives us the value of the root mean square. Okay, so next is to find the form factor. Form factor is simply uh, the root mean square value all over the average value. So this is simply equal to, please call that value for me. 114.6, right? Yes, 114.6. 0.6 divided by 100 1.1426 1.146 so that's the peak form factor then finally peak factor peak factor is simply equal to the peak voltage or the maximum voltage divided by the root mean square and the maximum voltage from the equation is 200 all over RMX 114.6. Please give me this value. 1.75. So this becomes the value of the peak factor. All right, guys. So I think for now we'll pause here on electric.